Welcome viewer. This video explains the concept of one-tailed and two-tailed test. A one-tailed test, also known as a one-sided test, is a statistical hypothesis test in which the critical region is located entirely in one tail of the distribution curve. In other words, it assesses the significance of an effect in only one direction. One-tailed tests are typically used when there is a specific expectation or interest in detecting an effect in a particular direction. One-tailed test can be right-tailed test and left-tailed test. Let's take another example, suppose a company has held an 18% share of the market. However, because of an increased marketing effort, company officials believe the company's market share is now greater than 18%, in this case, the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis can be written as HO, P is equals to 18% and HA, P is greater than 18%. This is a typical case of one-tailed test. Let's discuss the two-tailed test. A two-tailed test, also known as a two-sided test, is a statistical hypothesis test in which the critical region is divided into two tails of the distribution curve. Unlike a one-tailed test that focuses on the possibility of an effect in one direction, a two-tailed test assesses the significance of an effect in either direction from the specified value. Let's take a look at examples, suppose flour packaged by a manufacturer is sold by weight, and a particular size of the package is supposed to average 40 ounces. Suppose the manufacturer wants to test to determine whether their packaging process is out of control. In this case, the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis can be written as HO, mu equals to 40 ounces and HA, mu is not equal to to 40 ounces. This is a typical case of two-tailed test. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell.